Similar in height, 10 pound weight difference. With Page the heavier, of course, and not much difference in the way of reach between these two. Tubbs undefeated, 15 knockouts, but has not faced the same caliber of competition. Round one, scheduled 15, WBA heavyweight championship on the line in Buffalo. Page will look much taller than Tubbs because Tubbs slides and glides and bends a little. He don't stand as tall as Page. Now, Page told me he's going to knock out Tubbs. He wants to get him out of there. I don't know what is an axe to grind between him or what. That's what he I, told me before the fight. I think so. I, I noticed that when, uh, when Page stepped in the ring, he, he looked at Tubbs, uh, pointed to the to the mat, and then stomped it, like telling him that's where you're going to be uh, next once this fight starts. And indeed, he has come right after him. And, of course, he is buoyed by that stunning knockout of Coxia in South Africa December the 1st that turned his career around. Page with a good right. Tubbs forced the counter punch as Page takes what action there is to him in round number one. You know, I think if Tubbs is making a big mistake. Every time uh, Page throws punches at him, he leans, he pulls back with his head up in the air. I think that's a big mistake to be, to be making. It's a left hook he throws, and he's pulling way out with it. He's leaving himself left wide open for a right hand counter, or left hook, either one. Page jabbing, but coming up short with it. Tubbs trying to catch him on the way in. Surprising to me that Page Tubbs is going to knock this guy out, because this guy is undefeated. Pretty good fighter, and it's going to be a difficult fight. Uh, but Page it may make, make a mistake looking to load up and get him out of there early. Well, Page being almost 240 doesn't want this to go too long, I wouldn't think, in terms of stamina. Well, I'll tell you, he, he, he's been training. It just, I don't know, he just can't get that weight down. I mean, it's something he's going to have to live with. I know the Tubbs has not gone past. Oh, to the left there, past 10 rounds. He would spar 15, 18 rounds a day the last little while. To try to get himself ready for the eventuality of a 15 round bout. Oh, you know, Don, Carlos will back this up. You don't have to spar 15 rounds to box 15 rounds. To spar to get into condition. Not Physical th end of it is more important. Right. Not quite the same as actually being there as he is right now. With 20 seconds to go on the first round. Page coming out. Rather fiercely. Took off that. Said, no, that didn't hurt me. That isn't good enough. So we get down to the final seconds of round number one. Back after this word from your local station. Oh, it's beautiful. Wait till you feel how it drives. Old Cutlass Sierra is so much fun to drive. It's fun in the city. You may never want to stop. The highway? Oh, it's fun there, too. It's lots of fun on hills. Sure, say, shouldn't we head back? It's even fun on farm roads. It's fun on farm roads. There is a special feeling. Oh, we're back! In an old smoke field. Of course, it's your turn to drive. Hello, Mother. Hello, Father. Greetings from Kent. Hiawatha. Swim in school here. But this place is not like home. I miss your nice fresh pillowcases. You miss Downey. It's so pleasing. April freshness, that's one reason. Downy softness, that's another. Downy freshness makes a difference, love your mother. April fresh Downy. Don Chevrier, Carlos Palomino, and Angelo Dundee at ringside. Second round, scheduled 15. WBA World Heavyweight Crowd on the line. Rick Page and Tony Tubbs. Tony Tubbs just did a no no. Tony Tubbs just did a no no, Carlos. Oh, there he goes. Down he goes. Right up again. And that's a slip. He won't even he won't even take the count. And that was that thing that I mentioned. He keeps pulling his head back. Yep. Watch himself open. Got all tangled up and off balance. 
I tell you, going Good body down, shot by Page with the left hand. Going down like that, thank God for the new insulite padding. It's your safety padding. It doesn't bruise a fighter going down like that on his haunches. But it has unsettled him here in the second round. Page moving his shoulders and head back and forth now. Page is having some problems with his, uh, with his left eye. It's very red in there. It looks like he uh, might have uh, taken a shot right on the eye. Or maybe a thumb? Could have been. So you notice his eye? Yeah. Yeah. A little redness there. It's very hard to detect at home on your screen. We can see it from one side. Corner of Tubbs. The referee to Page about his gloves. Corner of Tubbs trying to get him to slide right, Carlos. Get away from that right hand. But he keeps going left, walking into that right hand. He keeps going left and pulling straight back. Uh, all, all, all Page has to do is follow and walk down in on him. Follow behind a couple of jabs and he can land that big right hand. We're in the second half of the second round in Buffalo. Tubbs not doing a great deal. Throws a right there and Page just does a little shuffle and... Toys with a left thrown by Tubbs, connected. That one's blocked by Greg Page, and now will walk to his right and away from him. Page is definitely being bothered by left eye calls. Yeah. You're right. He's blinking real good. Must have caught a shot in it. Could have put a, you know, an errant thumb in there. Could have. Tubbs looks that punch, but takes a left from Greg Page. Shouldn't take those shots. He shouldn't tell them it ain't hurting, because they're going to be hurting those kind of punches. Couple of big heavyweights in the ring with the WBA world title on the line. They're watching it live from Buffalo, New York. Page got to him in both the first and second round, certainly in the early part of this round. Has done a great deal of damage the last minute or so as Tux tries to tee off and gets the right hand through. Just seconds remaining now in round number two in Buffalo. You know this crew gets heartburn, and when they do, there's no time to stop. No wonder so many people take Rolaid. Like a sponge, Rolaid's antacid medicine consumes 100% of the acid required to give millions 100% relief. With Rolaid's, you can keep going. Rolaid. Rolaid spells 100% relief. And now, there's sodium-free Rolaids for sodium-free relief. Spilled a cup of coffee, brewing a sweater. Boss is screaming, send this letter. Call Emery, and it's as good as there. Emery's on the case, so you don't have to worry. We go any place. And get it to you in a hurry. From the biggest to the smallest, it's as good as there. Just call us. Hi, Emery. Greg Page springs to his feet for round number three in defense of his WBA Heavyweight Championship. Greg Page just did a no-no. He blew his nose, and you know, he shouldn't do that kind of stuff, especially when his eye is irritated like it is, because it can blow up and close. Oh, he's taking some jabs right on the eye. It may be a sign of the cavalier attitude on Greg's part reappearing. It has happened throughout his career. Well, a big man, they can go either one at any moment. Scheduled for 15 rounds. Well, I don't know. That kind of stuff's not necessary. I mean, you know, that clown and forget about it. He's a fighter. Yeah, but that's nothing. Now he sees Ali in the first row. Tony Tubbs shouldn't clown either. I mean, you know, this is too... Yeah. This for the title, for God's sake. It's a lot at stake for them. Page continues to shuffle around this way, the hand, his hands down low, as does the challenger, Tubbs. Tubbs is talking to him. Tubbs complete the stain of, of Greg Page. Absolutely. Oh. <laughs> Both men ignorant of the fact that one mistake, leaving themselves open for one moment, could do it. You see that right hand that Tubbs is throwing, Carlos? Jimmy Ellis has been working with him. He used to throw a right hand right down the pike, and that's what he's doing right now. Exactly. Page better watch himself. He better be sliding away from that shot, because that's pay dirt. 
Uh, Tufts mostly to his own head saying, come on up here, throw it up here. That's the halfway mark of the third round. There's a nice right hand to the body by Tubbs. Yes. He's be gaining more confidence as he goes along here. Page was out to take him out of the first round. He got through that. A little rough time in the second, but looks very poised, very confident right now. He shouldn't be doing that, though. He's got his hands by his side. I mean, he should be. I mean, this is the, the, the title fight for the heavyweight title. title oh, sure. He should be taking care of business here. Uh. Most of the ring movement created by Page as he dances around there, motions a lot, doesn't throw a great deal. Came up short with the left there, left going by Tuff. Tuff's two jabs missed. He cut a couple of the way in a combination from Greg Page. Greg Page's eyes are starting to close. Yeah. Definitely when he, he blew that nose in the corner. That was a no-no completely. Now they begin to open things up in the final 25 seconds of round three. Crowd loving it. They're being entertained by these two. Page shrugging his shoulders, as you see. Both men with their hands held oh so low. Getting late now. Seconds remaining, and this is the third round in Buffalo. I just found out that Booby here drinks the same beer as me. Corky, Sparky, Buck, and Boom Boom. Light beer from Miller. Now, Booby, Buck, and Boom Boom like light because it's got a third less calories than the regular beer, and it's less filling while Corky and Sparky drink it for the great taste. So Boom Boom, Buck, and Booby don't necessarily drink it for the same reason as Sparky and Corky. They all agree that Light's the best beer to buy. Isn't that right, Booby? You bet, Boom Boom. Right, Bark? You got it, Corky. What about that, Sparky? You said it, Boob. <laughs> Light beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer, and less. Staying in shape gives my business career an extra edge. Speed Stick deodorant gives you an edge, too. Speed Stick's the wide stick. Gives you man size odor protection all day. The white stick feels good going on, and it takes just a few strokes. It's a great value, too. In this world, a little extra edge is all you need. Let the wide stick give you the edge. Speed Stick Deodorant. By Menon. With Angelo Dundee, Carlos Palomino, I'm Don Chevrier. Ringside, round four, Page and Tubbs, WBA World Heavyweight Championship at stake. You notice the way that Vince Reynolds is controlling this fight? He's a big fellow. Those guys better not mess with him. And he really takes control of the fight. He's the third heavyweight in this ring. Good, good, good referee. And the game continues. You don't scare me. Go ahead. Take your best shot by both these fighters. Right, Carlos? Exactly. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's too bad because uh, they're both good fighters. They, they, they don't need that. They should go out there and take care of business. This is for the heavyweight title. The most prestigious uh, title in the world, you know. It is not an exhibition of showmanship unto itself. No, no, it's too much a stake. I mean, to, to win the title. You know, you tasted that. You know what it means, Carlos. Definitely, you know, and... Uh, like you said, it's not, it's not a show. It's not a show. Uh, those shots hurt when you get hit. <laughs> yeah, there's Tubbs saying, come on. Time. Tubbs is doing that from his experience with Muhammad Ali in camp, but that's a no-no. Nobody could be a Muhammad Ali. A lot of tried, unsuccessfully. What an inspiration he has been, though, to all of boxing. The Sugar Ray Leonard came the closest. I'm surprised that the quicker hands belong to Tubbs, Carlos. He's quicker, and, and, and Paige's got to be very, very careful to keep his chin down low, because that guy's got a heck of a right hand. Yeah, I think, you know, I, I, uh, I've i been watching uh, Paige in the corner, and uh, he, he's breathing very hard. I think uh, he came in with a less than full gas tank. Well, the gas tank will get lower as the fight continues. We're in round four, they begin to open it up. Oops. Yeah, the slower the two is guy is Paige. The quicker guy is Tubbs, oddly enough. Paige at 239, remember, 10 pounds heavier. Trying to catch him in the body. Yeah. 
Tony just landed a good left hook on Ooh, got right in. Page hasn't taken him out, certainly as early as he had told everybody he would. No, he said he's going to knock the guy out. He told me that early on, you know. He tried, now he's having problems staying with the guy. And they should increase, I would imagine, as this bout continues. It is now down to the final 10 seconds, the fourth round. Page has not been overly impressive, certainly, in defense of his title. We'll be back after this word from your local station. We love our Tap and Sure Cook microwave because all you do is tell it what you're having, the quantity, and how you'd like it done. It already knows how to cook our favorite foods automatically. I like the Belgian browner. Anyone can cook easily, beautifully, perfectly. With the Tap and Sure Cook. Buy a Sure Cook now. Get a free card at ABT TV and Appliance in Niles. There's a style in your life. No one could ever deny You're on your way to the top And along the way You've always known just who you are Where you're going you've always known it Where you're going it's Michelob Where you're going it's exceptionally smooth Michelob Where you're going it's Michelob Round number five is underway in Buffalo. We heard Tufts Handers telling him that Page is slowing down. Take it to him. Let's see what he does with that advice here in the fifth. Uh, don't tell him that Page is ready to go. <laughs> well, they use a trade strategy in the corner. They got uh, in uh, Greg Page's corner. They put Pro Present in the middle, which was a good move because you can work on that eye yeah. from inside. So Present was working on the eye. Still, Page blew his nose again. And that, that's a no-no. Definitely. Well, when you blow your nose like that, you loosen up the tissues around the eye, and it and it, and it creates a big vacuum, and it blows up. It could close the eye completely. A man who should know this, folks. Angelo Dundee is going to have a corner with a lot of Again, Tubbs. Hands way down low. Built some defense there. One of those blows got through from Greg Page. Bangs his gloves together and pops out of the center of the ring for more. Could have threw three shots instead of banging his gloves yeah, together. Exactly. It didn't make no I, sense. I, I was going to say that myself. That guy don't make no sense. I mean, Page, like he's uh, fucking a mosquito off his chest. I, 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 I want to say that I'd say goes to, to land them on Page instead of hitting my gloves together. That's wasted energy, isn't it? Long looping left comes up short from Tony Tubbs from Cincinnati, Ohio, the challenger in this WBA championship out in Buffalo. See the mistake Tony Tubbs is going to make. He's slowing down because Page is slowing down. He should pick up the pace. He's the pressure to do right now. Yes, but he's not setting anything up. He's setting nothing one, up. He's, he's going with one-shot bombs and uh, yes. everything is so isolated. Him. They're having recitation courses. The vocabulary is, come on, let's go. You didn't hurt me. <laughs> There's a combination by Page. A combination by Tuck. Big right in. Page counter punched well, and spent some time talking to Tuck. Something like that doesn't bother him. He takes a shot on the rim. Tubbs has fast feet, supposedly, but much of the movement is being done by Greg Page, 10 pounds heavier. What movement there is in this way? Less than 30 seconds left of the fifth, but is scheduled for 15. Well, Tubbs has definitely landed the, the stronger shots and more solid shots. There's a couple right there, left to the following right. Now he's, now he's setting things up with the jab. Trying to gives him three sharp pops in the ribcage there. The closing seconds of this, the fifth round in Buffalo. You wear your style.
the big U flows, America goes. Still beautiful, Dad. Took your brother through college, take you wherever you want to go. On Quaker State. Right. Smooth oil flows what you want, touch the engine. See, Quaker State starts with Pennsylvania Great Crude. Delivers stable viscosity. You get great protection with the big Q. Hey, how come you know so much? From listening to you. <laughs> Quaker State. The big Q stands for quality. Always has, always will. Greg Page pops up for round number six. And will the clowning and the taunting end? Will the real battle begin? Let's find out here in round number six in Buffalo. Greg Page said before he got out of that corner, I'm going to fight him. He's going to, you know, in other words, he's going to go out there and try to back him up and try to dictate the pace, which is a smart thing for him to do right now because this thing's starting to slip away a little bit. <laughs> exactly. And if we go to the, you know, to the judges, we got the best judges around, WBA. Get Al Walensky, Joe Santafia, and Albert Tremere. Tremere. Would you believe they all end in a bow? <laughs> <laughs> You're going to pronounce all those. You've done something right. Now, Page has got to start picking up the pace. Otherwise, he's going to let this fight slip away from him you know, and lose the fight. No yeah, he's, for that. he's 10 pounds heavier. He's a bigger man. He should go in there and try to rough uh, Tubbs up and uh, take control of the fight. Many rounds, it looks as though he will in the early stages. Then he'll back off. The other big thing, he's got 15-round experience. He can go 15. He knows that. He's been big, tough fights. There he goes, blowing his nose again. And that eye keeps getting... Uh, Both eyes are bothering him now, Carlos. I noticed in the corner, he's blinking. They're bloodshot. <laughs> Tubbs is making a mistake oh. backing up. Tubbs got him a good lesson the way in. And the following right block as they now tie up once again. Midway and this is six round. Scheduled for 15. Page definitely has a cold. Can't, you know, he can't blow. He's got nothing coming out of his nose. You know, he's trying to get it clear. He's not going to get it clear like that. Tubbs fires out the left hand. Page a short chopping left as they tie up again as Tubbs bangs to the body and Page responds. Ugh. He's the left again. Would you believe that Page beat this kid six out of seven times in the amateurs, fellas? That's why, you know, amateurs, you never know. Because you know, I, that's a long never. time ago as well. And Jimmy Ellis, the kid in this corner, got licked by a couple of amateurs and knocked him out in the pro. The Otis Martin and Johnny Pearsall. Well, as you know, it's a different game, amateur to pro, vastly different. You see the time remaining in the sixth round. I feel sorry for both these fighters. Macho Camacho ruined this match. It's not that bad a fight. No, but he stole the show so far. <laughs> The seconds left in the sixth round. Back with the seventh after a word from your local station. Need to establish credit? Are you new in credit? Maybe you've been turned down by others. This card is for you. National Catalog Distributors can help. You have better than a 98% chance of receiving our credit card regardless of past credit history. Our card is good for purchasing TV, stereo, jewelry, toys, appliances, and thousands of other items. You know, friends, in today's world, you're nobody if you don't have your credit established. So be somebody and let National Catalog establish your credit today. Call now! A brand new Family Dental Center located at Sears has come to town. The Family Dental Centers offer total family dental care and fees you can afford. We're open seven days a week and evenings, too. During our grand opening, we'll save you 50% on a complete cleaning and exam. Call now for your appointment and save 50%, and you can use your Sears charge. Our grand opening half-price cleaning and exam special is available at all family dental centers located at Sears. Grand opening offer at Sears Woodfield Mall, River Oak Center, Fox Valley Mall, and Golf Mill Shopping Center. And this battle continues to a seventh round in Buffalo. Don Chevrier at ringside with Angela Dundee and Carlos Palomino. And you wonder when they're going to get really serious. They showed signs of it in the last round or so. I made a boo-boo. I said that Greg Page had been the 15-round 
run. Never 12. Been. 12, 12 has been the longest and 10 for Tubbs. But we're a few rounds from getting into the uh, testing zone for both fighters. At this pace, there's no test. They're going, they're going at a slow pace. You know, it's not exactly a punishing battle for either one so far. Yeah, you're right. But at this pace, uh, they shouldn't have any problem going 12 rounds. It is scheduled for 15, however. Oh. 15. Big left by Tubbs. And again, Page tries to clear that bothersome nose. Yeah, the quicker hands is the guy that's getting in those shots, and that's Tubbs, oddly enough. I thought Page was the quicker guy. He's not showing that so far. Two shots to the body. Page tries to cut him on the ropes, and he spins right out of there. Page seems to have nothing in there. The balance was bad. He tried to throw a good combination of kid. It wasn't there. You know, he may he may be a little quicker, but you know, I was really surprised that he came in at 239 and a half. I, you know, I often go heavy, and he's carrying too much extra weight, I think. Now, that's been a pattern for him for his career. He's come in too much at the wrong time, more than once. We'll see what that will cost him as this event goes along. Both eyes of Page is showing wear and tear, Carlos. You know what I mean? They're starting to blow up underneath now. They, you notice? They, they really are. They're, uh, the right eye also. You're right, uh, Jimmy also has done a great job with uh, Tubbs. Uh, he's a really different fighter. Left to the right by Tony Tubbs. Page missing with first the jab, then the follower in right hand. Just timing a lot of his punches. Constantly back to his nose. I tell you, it's been a bugaboo. Big right hand right there. It's been a bugaboo. Tubbs appears to be gaining a certain amount of momentum as this bout continues now near the conclusion of this, the seventh round of the auditorium in Buffalo, New York. the 18th hole of this light beer open and we've seen some real unusual shots today you said it hey bob i think you got a birdie oh. i'll see how am i supposed to hit it through this tree no problem bird how you could going to get out of this with that calls for another light beer from miller make it two three four it's a good thing lights less filling. John, the last player's approaching the tee. Now, when it goes to 100, you sell. I won't be long, girls. Hold my calls, will you? <laughs> it hit the weather vane. It's in the drain. This comes out. It's going on the green. It's going in the hole. Like beer from Miller. Everything you always wanted in a beer and less. This open ought to be closed. <laughs> Page looks like he has plenty left. He certainly was the first man to reach the center of the ring for this, the eighth round in Buffalo. But that could be very deceiving. Yeah, I think it's a psychological game that's not working for him. No, he's tried everything. Everything imaginable. The only thing you got to keep in mind, Carlos, the champion is Page. Cubs has got to go out and get it. And he's not going out and get it. He should go out and get it. Dictate. Can't be, you know, being cute like this. Expect to win. These rounds are close. He can wind up losing the round. One man who should sure. sell, if you doubt that, is Tim Witherspoon. Ask him what you have to do to beat a champion. I know it. But right that he, uh, in the eyes of many, beat Larry Holmes, but you don't just easily decision the existing champion. You've got to overpower him. Make it very convincing. And so far, Tubbs, while acquitting himself well, has not succeeded in doing that tonight. Now the chat goes up. Tony has some support. This is in the arena for Tony Tubbs. And then Ali, as he stands at ringside, takes the spotlight away from the two men in the ring as they stand Ali. <laughs> 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 
Show business we have. I don't know about fight business so far. Oh, good right crowd by Tony Thompson. Peg says forget it. I don't know about forgetting. You ain't going to take too many of those kind of right hands. Ah. And he's taking about two or three of those. That's Every time right. he gets hit, he goes, he says, uh, "Not good." But he, not from a two hundred, not from a two hundred twenty-nine pounds. Uh, no, 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 no. He won't say that when he's flattening his back for one. Right. Oh. Dubs has indeed scored some other punishing blows in this round and the previous round. Again, that shifting tide of momentum would look to be going in his favor ever so slowly in this bout at the midway markup. I can honestly say we can, they're not throwing punches in bunches because they're not throwing punches. I mean, they're, they're throwing a shot and admiring their, their shots and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Like a guy with an instant camera takes the picture and can't wait to pull it out and look at it. That's true. I mean, Tubbs, oh, oh, that's another beautiful right hand by Tubbs. There was. It doesn't follow up, doesn't not land the big hand, no. right hand, it doesn't follow it. It's been an interrupted series of single blows. You begin to wonder what will happen if they ever put them together. This tough first to the body and then missing with a left hook to the head. Time ticking down and it's the eighth round. And now beyond the halfway mark of the scheduled 15 rounder at the auditorium in Buffalo, the prize, the WBA Heavyweight Boxing Championship on the line. Well, the man in the middle separates them again in the closing seconds of this round. More from Buffalo after a word from your local station. Tuesday night at 7, McQueen Week begins with the Academy Award winning The Sand Pebble. What is our primary duty? Fight. Steve McQueen in his most commanding performance. You cannot be excused to do what you prefer to do no matter how well you do it. Caught in a battle between warlords and foreign powers. Yes, they'd like another incident. They'd like a war. The Sand Pebbles. McQueen Week begins Tuesday night at 7 on Channel 9. If you have just $100 to put down cash or trade and can afford $129 a month, you can afford the all-new 85 and a half Escort. I'm Al Pamani, and I guarantee you the best deal on a new Ford or triple the difference in cash. You don't have to settle for an 85 Escort. I'm talking about the brand new 85 and a half improved Escort just introduced. $100 down and $129 a month. $100 down and $129 a month at Al Pamani Ford in Melrose Park and Al Pamani's new Arlington Heights Ford on Dunn. Red Tide and Red Tide. Out they come for the ninth round. Tubbs corner telling him the title can be yours. Go out there and take it from him. Don't just use that left hand of the body. Let's see the right work more. Well, Tubbs not starting this round with that advice in mind very aggressively. I would have a long needle in the corner if he doesn't do what he's told because he must do that to win this title. He's not going to win it by nitpicking. He's got to throw a puncher. Hotel accommodations for the blockbuster in Buffalo provided by the luxurious Buffalo Hilton at the waterfront, Buffalo's business address. And which address will the WBA Heavyweight Championship be sent to? Mr. Page or Mr. Tubbs? I get the feeling Page is slowing almost round by round. Is that my imagination, fellas? Where do, you, where do you think he is slowing down? Oh, definitely. He's, uh, well, you know, it, it, it's funny, but he, uh, he came out real strong in the first round, and, and he's really slowed down since then considerably. And uh, each round, he gets a little slower. But Tubbs is not taking advantage of it. I mean, Tubbs is landing some good shots, but there's single punches, and he, he just doesn't seem to want to really follow up and take this. I think if he, he made up a decision to go in and take this, he might be able to take uh, Page out. That's what his corner has been uh, urging him to do. But he's taking his sweet time in heeding their advice. Past the midway mark of this the ninth round in Buffalo. He was told to use a left hook to the body, hasn't thrown one. He hasn't thrown anything. All he's doing is showing disdain for Page. That don't win fights. That accommodation there a few seconds ago misses Wiley with the left. And Page coming up short with the jab, forces the back toward the middle of the ring. 
arm wrestling going on at this stage. Bear in mind again, they both have a big right hand if it ever connects. You'll see one man standing. Clark's looking over anxious now in this round. This timing a lot of his attacks. There you see the time remaining as he fires the left that connects a grazing left hand to the face of Greg Page, the reigning WBA heavyweight champion. Another left hand set out by Tubbs as he wades in with a strong left of the body, trying to slow his man down all the more. Ducks back out of the way of the fronting right hand from Greg Page. And that is all the time we have left, and this is the ninth round in Buffalo. Moving days can turn into a moving days. Renting from someone other than Ryder can leave you dazed. Dazed to find the truck you rented has no third gear. Ryder trucks have automatic. Days to find you wrestling a truck at every turn, and the truck is winning. Ryder has power steering. Moving days, you can be dazed. Or you can rent a newer, tougher Ryder truck. It's Ryder, or it's wrong. How many shicks can you get from one disposable shick? Monday. makes a sharp, long-lasting disposable quite like How many shicks does your disposable give you? Here it is, round number 10, scheduled for 15. And this title is here for the taking. When the fight goes at this pace, it really drags out. It's a doggone shame because two talented fighters in there, two good fighters. Now, Paige, to me, is, you know, he's a champion. This guy should go out and get him a push and start dictating, or he's going to let him slip away. And you can count the punches, you know, on all our five hands over here that are being thrown around. It's no good. Well, I think that, that he's definitely him, he's allowing him to slip away from him. Uh, and he's just uh, doesn't seem to be concerned about it. He's continuing comes out doing the same thing. Tubbs got the left through and no more. And slips the right hand thrown by Page. Wastes some more energy banging his gloves together, Tony Tubbs does. I don't know how to dictate that one, Carlos. Maybe he's applauding the guy doing something. I don't know. It's terrible. But again, the pattern is maintained here. Blows in a series of one. Then lows until another single punch comes through. It's almost as though they're forced to throw more than one. It's a jab, a jab, and nothing more from Tubbs as he backs around the ring now. The champ, Ali, goes up and Mohammed responds by standing up, as you can see, in the background. And he urges the crowd to be quiet, but he loves all the attention he's getting. He's getting more attention than these two guys are right now. Tubbs has got a plan. Maybe he wants to take it into the 13, 14, 15, and then get going. Who knows? He better, better start doing some kind of a plan because, you know, this can very well be a draw. You know, the guy retains his title. This guy's got to start doing something. Tubbs looks like he's winning. He's not throwing enough punches. No punches. No punches. Well, you said before, it's well known that you've got to decisively beat a champion to take his title away on points. And while Tubbs has handled himself well and is right in this fight, he has not beaten Page decisively by any means. On the other hand, Page has not done a great deal to make sure that he keeps this championship. That's his stunning knockout of uh, Kotsia. He has not come back with the same kind of fight so far tonight. At almost 240, you would tend to think he will slow as this bout continues. Now past the two and a half minute mark of round 10. Two good right hands were landed by each fighter. One with a counter shot. Page landed a real good right hand, but Cubs hit him a real good counter. Now they stay away from each other again. Looping left, misses. The second one partially connects from Cubs. Time running out in round number 10. Round 
number 11. For Tubbs, a new adventure in his career. He has not gone this long before. Great Page has gone 12 rounds several times in his career. I'll tell you, Don, the interesting thing is why, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame. See why Muhammad Ali can't get involved with promotions? He steals the show. This is the reason. And he's a guy that did so much for boxing, but the people are more interested in Ali right now and in this fight and is detracting from the fight, whatever fight there is. As he tends to do wherever he appears, but they love to see him at ringside. The WBA Heavyweight Championship, it is scheduled for 50. And right now, he would not have said that in the first couple of rounds. Indications are it may go the 15 round distance. Page appears to have a door open and Tubbs, for some reason, is unable or unwilling to walk into it. Both being cute out there can't help nothing. I mean, you got to throw punches to win fights. Everything is thrown from very long range. Everything is slapping, you know, and, and it's just, uh, and I think it's just that neither one of them have, have made a decision to make, made a commitment to step in and put the hand into the propeller and really go to work. Yep, nobody wants to really go out and take it so far. That could change. Maybe each one is figuring the other guy can't go 15 and they'll capitalize late. Bide their time until then. Have you seen a three-punch combination yet, Carlo? <laughs> it's one, two, one, two. Left hook, one, two. Or quite often just one. Haven't seen no combination, no nothing. And both these kids are capable of throwing good shots, good, good combination. Both the Tugs in particular have their mouths open now. One good sign, they're not talking too much. No, I think the conversation is over. Maybe now the real boxing will begin. You know, and Tubbs has landed some good stuff. I mean, he lands a jab, right hand, jab, right hand, and does not follow up with anything else. You know, there should be a hook behind that or something. Very adept at blocking, though. You'll notice he slips, slips, slides. Yeah. Try to throw a punch, he blocks her off with a right hand. Stopping left hand throw, but nothing to follow it by Tubbs. It's a difficult fight to score, I would think, too, of your ringside judge. I'm glad I'm not a judge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so the 11th round is almost over. Back with a call to left there after a word from your local station. Coming this May to Channel 9, we've got a great lineup of movies. Peter O'Toole, My Favorite Year, America Fine, McQueen Wake, Steve McQueen, and the Sand Pebbles. Papillon, Bullock, and the Thomas Crown Affair. Jessica Lange is Francis. Cliff Robertson stars in the world television premiere of The Key to Rebecca. Late night, WGN presents Elvis Week. And a week of Earl Flynn. Dracula and the Stepford Wives. Angie Dickinson is dressed to kill. Taxi Driver, Rio Lobo, Michael Caine, The Island, Coogan's Bluff, the Eagle Has Landed. Robert Mitchum in Amsterdam Kill. This May, when you're looking for the best movies, you'll be looking at Channel 9. Here's the 12th round. I'm Don Chevrier with former Willoway champion Carlos Palomino and former fight trainer and current fight trainer Angela Dundee. I'll tell you... Both one and the two of them are going to start doing something because, you know, it's a shame to waste so much good talent. They're both good fighters, but they got to let something go, especially Tubbs, believe it or not, because he's going to let it slip away. He's the challenger. He's got to, he's got to uh, take it. And they're telling Paige in the corner that uh, Tubbs was dead to go get him. He probably said, yeah, I am too, a little bit. <laughs> He wouldn't respond. No, oh, but he was thinking it. <laughs> you think he's dead? <laughs> they should try to conceal it. They have to at this stage. Here's where it would really get interesting now out of these 12, 13, 14, and 15 rounds if it does go the distance. 
Which man has the most gas left in the tank here over the long haul for the WBA championship in Buffalo tonight? Tubbs is doing the boo-boo. He's making Paige out muscle him, out grab him, he's giving him his left hand, and he's getting himself, yeah. you know, bulldozed. And he can't fight like this with a Greg Page who's very strong. Last 20 seconds exclusively inside, and Tubbs leans in, trying to keep it there again. There's no reason for him to step inside there and stick his hands right underneath Page's arm. He, he ties up his own hand in there. He can't do a thing when he's like that. Try to back away and pull the uppercut off. Tries it again there with the right hand. And bangs to the body. Price is furious. Hooks to the head. And has to duck under those spots from the counter punch of Greg Page. I'll tell you this much, they look a lot more serious now than four or five rounds ago. Well, I think I think Tubbs is going to tell him to go in there and throw some shots downstairs. Maybe something will happen because he's been hitting them on the chin. Nothing's been happening. <laughs> well, he's hanging on him now. Benny Raynone, the referee, separates them as he's done more frequently in the last two or three rounds. They're tired, no question about that, both of them. Tubbs trying to work the inside to his advantage. But Tubbs is stronger right now. He's stronger with the two fighters. Yeah, he's uh, manhandling Page. Man right right but he's not doing anything except shoving his body on him. He gets there, ties him up, but doesn't do anything. Body, then hand. He tries the left hand exclusively. With less than 30 seconds to go on the 12th round. Tubbs certainly the more aggressive of the two, taking the action of the champion page at this stage of the bout. There's still three rounds remaining for a couple of very tired-looking heavyweights in the ring here in Buffalo. That'll do it for the 12th round. If you're having trouble cutting your lawn, you should know about Honda's Side Discharge Mower. It's easy to start, it's lightweight, so it's easy to use. And it's built so well, it may be the last lawnmower you ever buy. The Honda Side Discharge Mower. With a bag or without? Buy one. And leave your troubles behind. Where I come from, people never quit. Till the game is done. There's still a place where there's nothing wrong with winning. Where beer is beer and the brand is Miller. Miller's made the American way. Born and brewed in the USA. Just as proud as the people who are drinking it today. Miller beer. Purity you can see. Quality you can taste. Miller's made the American way. It'll be lucky or unlucky, number 13 tonight, for Page or for Tubbs in this WBA championship bout. Now Greg Page has gone longer into this 13th round than he has ever gone in his professional boxing career before. Tubbs already three rounds longer than his previous high of 10. I'll tell you, the, the corner work has been exceptional. I mean, uh, Jenks is trying. Uh, Jim, Bill Presents trying. I know Jimmy Ellis is trying in the other corner. They're trying to steam them both up. And they're not getting no good reaction. That's what drives you up a wall. Angelo, that's got to be, in your experience, I'm sure, the most frustrating thing. You tell him everything he has to do, and you sit back and you see him not do it round after round. Happens over and over. Oh, it breaks your heart. I mean, you know, because especially when a guy's talented. You don't care if the guy got no talent, you're doing the best you can. Well, you just lay back and tell the kid, give it the best shot you can. But these are two talented anyway, so they're not putting out. But they are surviving. Tubbs fires the left to the face of Greg Page. With that right hand cock ready to go, jams it to the rib cage of Page. Well, he throws a jab or a right hand to the body. All he has to do is come back with a hook to the head. Yep. And it's wide open for him, but he never he never follows it up. I guess like they say about human beings, about the only thing we ever learn is that we never learn. <laughs> You're looking at two intricate human beings in there tonight. Halfway through the 13th. This championship is sitting on the table. Who wants to take it? At this point, uh, at this point, Tubbs seems to be taking target practice here, but he just 
He's not doing enough. He's unproductive target practice. You know, one good punch can turn this fight around to either one. You know, it. neither one seems to realize they're not putting those sets into the shots. Click, click, that ain't nothing. It helped to stop winning that right hand, which was very effective early on. At least they're so tired now, you don't see anybody saying that didn't hurt me, because it probably did. Right <laughs> like thrown by Page. Cubs dances around out of harm's way again. 30 seconds, now counting in the 13th round. Couple of jabs, no following right from Page. Same has been the story from Tubbs. Well, we'll go through 13, it appears, here in Buffalo. We'll have the 14th for you after a word from your local station. I think it's a great fight myself. <laughs> now, if you turn around, you'll find the rings this way. <laughs> Marcia. You're playing these in an hour. I need some changes. We can do it. Whatever the crisis, it's good to have a Canon electronic typewriter like the AP300. Features like automatic paper feed. Change 12 to 14. One button correction. Almost done. And automatic decimal alignment have made Canon the fastest growing name in office typewriters. You made it. We made it. Oh. At Royal Typewriter Company of Chicago, 7357. Need to establish credit? Are you new in credit? Maybe you've been turned down by others. This card is for you. National Catalog Distributors can help. You have better than a 98% chance of receiving our credit card regardless of past credit history. Our card is good for purchasing TV, stereo, jewelry, toys, appliances, and thousands of other items. You know, friends, in today's world, you're nobody if you don't have your credit established. So be somebody and let National Catalog establish your credit today. Call now. They totally ignore the opportunity to go in and get it. But they, they told Tubbs in his corner that, that they were going to give it to Page because he's the champ. And, and if that doesn't buy a fire under, nothing will. Well, that's exactly right. Fired a good combination there as Page shakes his head a little bit. Last round, last right hand hurt oh, Page. Again. The last right hand hurt Page. Definitely was a good shot. Yep, hurt him. He wasn't Square talking. Square on. He wasn't joking. He shook that head. So perhaps... The challenger has come to fight here as he fires a left, catching Page in the way in. Both corners have been trying to get both guys to go, you know what I mean? And finally, Tubbs' corner made him get a little bit out of Tubbs. Tubbs circling the ring a lot more on Page now. And he's just really landing that jab, but there's nothing behind it. He's got a... All right. Getting through consistently. As you say, no following right hand. Tubbs much the pressure of the two, but remember, he's pretty tired as well. It's all relevant. Tell you, you only got about five minutes, three and four and a half minutes. You might as well all hang out. This is amateur boxing. You get a lot of points. I always tell my guys, don't save me. Carlos, I always tell my guys, don't save me for the dressing room. <laughs> Let's let it all hang out. You don't need it in the dressing room. Stretch here in the 14th. No question, Tubbs the busier, the more effective. And if you were to say that either of the two wants it more at this stage, Tubbs indicates that he does. Can't use that term, who wants it more, but they ain't letting it hang out. Hit him with a right on the way through that time, but Page was only a glancing blow, snapped back from him. Well, Page is firing left jabs now. No question, Tubbs has scored more effectively in this round, but he has, except for one occasion, not really hurt Greg Page. Did sting him, though, about two minutes ago. See, he 
here. He's trying to follow. He's trying to set up combinations now and start something. Tony Tubbs. Had the following right block picked off by Page. So it looks like we're going to a 15th round here for the limit for the WBA title. I'm 32 years old. And I love Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Brave adults are coming forward to challenge the notion that Frosted Flakes is just a kid's cereal. I know there's a tiger in the box. I like the taste, okay? Because you love them as a kid doesn't mean you can't love them as an adult. One day, our neighbor saw the package on the table. And we don't even have children. With that extra crunch and milk, that frosting just right, that taste is great as ever. <laughs> well, they've always been my favorite. So dig in. Frosted Flakes have the taste adults have grown to love. They're great. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. Taste it all. Reward yourself. You deserve it. You've given your best. Taste it all. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. Taste it all. For a different kind of thirst. Different from beer. Different from wine. Dash of crisp, cool citrus. And splash of cool, clear wine. Together, refreshing Seagram's Cooler. It's earned the Seagram name. New Seagram's Cooler. Taste it all. 15, they're heading for the bar here in Buffalo, and it opens up furiously. Both men know this is it. Neither can be confident of victory on point. And Greg Cage takes it to Tubbs for the first time in a long, long while. You want to get let it all hang out this round. This round might be the round. You never know. You don't know how the judges are looking at it. I know where they're favoring the champion. But Tubbs has got to let it go and let it all hang out. This round may save the bout, which has been less than scintillating to this point. Has had its moments though in the last three rounds. If it stays like this, if it is a close decision, you can almost count on the champion keeping his title. Tubbs, if it is close at this stage, would have to overwhelm him here in the 15th round to have a chance on that. I don't want to use this all night long, but the guy in the white trunks is going to win, Carlo. <laughs> I'm going out in the limb. <laughs> it wasn't quite the limb when you went out and said that Hagler would win in three in Las Vegas. Well, that was a limb. <laughs> Watch your southpaw. That's, you're already a tw standing on a twig right now. <laughs> Well, like you said, it's a hard fight to call, but, you know, I, I think that Tubbs definitely had, has had an edge in all the rounds, but you never know how the judges are seeing this. Questionable blow on the way in, thrown low that, by Payne. That was a tremendous move. Tubbs ran in, he dropped both hands and was waste. Well, they're going full speed ahead right now, and you got to give them full marks for that. Past the halfway mark of the 15th round of the WBA Heavyweight Boxing Championship. Well, that was on the leg of the thigh. <laughs> Kneecap. <laughs> you said, throw caution to the wind. Let it all hang out here in the 15th round, and as a result, it has been the best round of this fight. Best fighter to two looking right now is Cubs, the way steady and smoother. I think so. More fluid than Payne. But more so in the last five or six rounds, in my opinion. Well, I think Page has, has been very tired the last, uh, I would say, six, seven rounds. It yep. doesn't seem like he's had anything left. See how the judges take that into account as we're inside 30 seconds. And for a couple of big men with big punishing blows, they have failed to take each other out here in Buffalo tonight. Less than 10 seconds remaining now. Page fires the chopping left hand. Tubbs responds to the combination. Backs him into the ropes over on the 